Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about connected and local routes, which are the first type of routes that you're going to have on your router. A router has got two main functions. That's to determine the best path to available networks and then to forward actual production traffic to those networks. The best available path or paths to a destination network are listed in a router's routing table and will be used for forwarding traffic. So a router may learn lots of different routes, but it's only actually the best routes that are going to make it into the routing table and be used. A routing table is what the router uses to make its forwarding decisions. It consists of directly connected networks and routes configured statically by the administrator or dynamically learned through a routing protocol. For our connected and local routes, one of the first things that you're going to do on the router is configure IP addresses on its interfaces. So you see we've got an example down here, a router with three interfaces and on the first interface, Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, we configure IP address 10.0.0.1. So those are the commands to do that. On the second interface, the commands would be interface Fast Ethernet 1 slash 0, and then IP address 10.0.1.1, 255.255.255.0 .255 for the subnet mask. And then we've got Fast Ethernet 2 slash 0 with IP address 10.0.2.1. So you already know how to configure IP addresses on the interfaces. You saw that in earlier lectures. Now, when you do configure the IP addresses on the router's interfaces, it will automatically add routes corresponding to those into the routing table. First off, it's going to add connected routes into the routing table. So because you configured those IP addresses on those interfaces, the router knows that it is connected to the 10.0.0.0 slash 24 network on interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 because you configured an IP address in that subnet on the interface. It also knows that it's directly connected to the 10.0.1.0 network slash 24 on fast ethernet 1 slash 0 and finally it knows it's connected to the 10.0.2.0 24 network on interface fast ethernet 2 slash 0. So those routes will be added to the routing table as connected routes. The command to view the routing table on a router is show IP route and you can see in the example in the slide here after we configured those IP addresses those directly connected routes will show up just like this in the routing table. If any traffic for the 10.0.0.0 slash 24 network is now received on another interface on the router, it will forward it out interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 because it knows that it is directly connected to that network. If on another interface, a router received traffic for the 10.0.1.0 slash 24 network, it would send it out interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0. And obviously, if traffic came in for 10.0.2.0 slash 24 network, that would be sent out interface fast ethernet 2 slash 0. So as soon as you've configured IP addresses on your router interfaces, it can automatically route traffic between those directly connected networks. Another type of route that is going to show up in your routing table after you've configured IP addresses on your interfaces is local routes. Now, these are only going to show up from iOS version 15. Earlier versions did not show these. Local routes always have a slash 32 subnet mask. And what they're there for is to show the IP address that is configured on the interface. If I just go back a slide, if you did a show IP route on the router here, you would see the subnets that were available on each interface. 
but you wouldn't actually know the IP address that was configured on the router. Like interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 from a show IP route, it could have IP address 10.0.1 on there, or it could have 10.0.0.254, or it could have 10.0.0. anything we don't actually know from the show IP output. To find out the IP address on the interface, we'd have to do a show IP interface brief or another similar command to find out that information. From iOS 15, it tells you the subnets that are available on each interface and it also tells you the actual IP address that is configured on the interface as well. So it makes it a bit more convenient for you, the administrator. You can get all that information just with just the one command. So you see we're doing the same command here, a show IP route. For the same example, all we've done was configure the IP addresses on the interfaces. We will see the connected routes and we will see the local routes in the same output from the same show IP route command. So in our example, we'll also see three local routes. We'll see one for 10.0.0.1 slash 32 on interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0. 10.0.1.1 slash 32 is on fast 1 slash 0. And 10.0.2.1 slash 32 is on fast 2 slash 0. Okay, so local routes, they always show up as a slash 32, no matter what subnet was actually configured on the interface. And it shows you the IP address that is configured on that interface. Okay, that's everything I needed to tell you about our connected and our local routes. Let's have a look at this in the lab. We'll do that in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.